And uh, another feature of this NS personal machine is you can make a profile and share it to the other users. So you, what you can do is you can just make profile as you want to or tweak the profile as you want to and save it. The profile is saved in the tablet. So you can get the file and then upload on the user's forum, which is called Diaspora. So it's kind of like private forum. When you buy a Descendants personal machine, we send the invitation via email. So if you get the email, then you can get into the user's forum. And in the forum, we just talk about the coffee and espresso stuff. Or sometimes it's just ideas that how we can like upgrade Descendants personal machine. So you can check the old sort of thing, or you can give some, you can throw some idea in there or you can just share the profile, something like that. There is one profile that user made and uploaded and became default profile, which is this one. This profile is made by Scott Rail, and this profile has pose function. So it gives pre-infusion the same like before, but after pre-infusion, when it hits the certain pressure, it poses for 30 seconds. The other machines cannot do that because they can't pose. Or you can may stop the shot for a while, but in that case, the drain that will be is gonna open. So it's not pose, it's stop. And then the water inside the space, head space, is gonna go through the drain. So there is no water remained. So it's not really blooming in there. So this is called espresso blooming. During the pose, it kind of like brew the coffee in here for 30 seconds. i show you how it goes. Purpose of this profile is getting more coffee material out of coffee pot. I just adjust my grinder to a bit finer. Hot. And when the pressure hits four bar, it starts to pose. It's immediately just get rid of the flow. And there is the ramp up. It starts to give water slowly and then holds the flow rate at 2.2 milliliter per second. Pressure changes automatically, but there's like really low pressure because the coffee puck is all the way evenly wet during this pose stage. So there is like a lot of path that water can go through. There is like less resistance. So the pressure is really low in this case. So if you want to make higher pressure, then you can grind finer or like put more coffee or change the basket. There are so many ways that you can do to get like higher pressure. And here is the temperature. As I told you, it's really hard to drop the temperature and there is no water going on. So the temperature drops, still drops, but not like dramatically. And here's the same, even if there is some water going on, but the flow rate is kind of like really low so the temperature drop is not really that dramatic so that's it yeah you cannot really find any machine that can do like this sort of shot if you use like really light roasting coffee and when you make like latte with that coffee if you use this profile you can get like latte latte with lightly roasted coffee you know what i mean and i show you the steam with descent espresso machine there you go if you start the steam, you can see the steam graph right here is the real-time steam graph. Green one is pressure and blue one is flow rate. And here you can see all the information about the steam. In that case, the temperature is in between 150 to 160. And it's really higher than the other traditional machine. The traditional machine is about like 120 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1.8 to 2 bars. Steam pressure on the other machine is 1.2 bar each. So it's like higher pressure with like higher temperature. So the steam is dried, but the flow rate is quite slower than the other traditional espresso machines. So it takes like longer time to get the temperature of your milk, but like result is milkier and richer because there is like less water goes into your milk. That's it and there is flush so what flush does is manual button on the other credit channel espresso machine so you can make a shot with this as well or you can just rinse out your porter filter or after you make a shot if you want to get rid of the some residues on the screen, then you can use this function to get rid of the residues. There you go. We also provide several different languages. There is Korean. Yeah, there are so many like Thai languages here and Japanese and Chinese and everything is in here. So you can pick one that you use. All right. 
So that's it for the demo. I just pick some questions that ask like the most and then talk about it. So this is Q&A. So first question was so if you make the shots like continuously how many shots the same espresso machine can make i don't know that's very responsible as i told you this machine preheats first and then start to make a shot so the temperature stability is the world best so there is no temperature drop some cafes use our machine so they make some hundreds of shots in a day but there is no problem and temperature is just stable next question is how much is it yeah that's the question that i got the second most we have three models the one plus the one pro and the one xl white and black so the price that i'm telling you is version 1.3's price D1 Plus version 1.3 is $2,799, it's US dollars. And D1 Pro version 1.3 is $3,199. D1 XL Black version 1.3 is $4,299. And D1 XL White version 1.3 is $4,599. And shipping cost is excluded, so it's kind of up to where you live and where you get shipped. And the custom fee is included. That's it. So next question is about version 1.3 model. There is photo. So as you can see, there is a group head controller on the group head. So what it can do is it can start shot or start steam, flush, and hot water dispenser function. Not only that, it can do real-time control. So version 1.1 machines can do the shot with the profile already made, so you cannot change during the shot. But with the group head controller on version 1.3, you can change the pressure and flow rate in real time. So it can do start and stop and real-time control, which means you don't need to use tablet to operate the machine. So tablets can be just display, and you can control with the group head controller. That's it. If you have any questions or inquiries about this and espresso, then you can ask here. And here's our website. If you want to get more information about our machine or just buy our machine, then you can go into this website. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'll be back with more videos. Peace out.